Hello, y'all. I'm finally here with the business update on getting my credit together. How I managed to raise my credit score 150 points within one month. I apologize for this darkness lighting because it is nighttime. So I'm only going off of my three lights right now versus I would have a little bit of daylight peeking through. But I had a very busy day. Had to be on some TLC business today and, um, you know, some spot, although it wasn't much spa and pampering, honey. That, that, that wax was torture, honey. I mean, it took her four hours to do my legs, so. Uh, I, I, I think I want to get to the point. Although she finally is convinced that now you software, I don't know what inspired her to do all hard wax, and it'd be something different if, like, European Wax Center. She did the the long strips or whatever, and it was done within 15, 20 minutes, but she wanted to do small. Oh, no. Four hours a damn two. I thought by me, you know, doing an appointment 10 o'clock in the morning that I'd be out by 12. I went out until like 2.30 something. I was like, hi, darn. And then I, I said, just in time for me to get to my TLC business. So... That took up my three to five. So as soon as I got gone from there, I it's like I had to get into TLC mode. But anyways, now that that long, you know, explanation out the way. How did a girl raise her credit score from four eighty to six thirty within just a little over a month? So here's how. So I did not have the biggest debt, but I had some noticeable debt. Uh, I had some credit card debt that I owed. And to the major banks of all that. And it, it was Bank of America, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, BBNT. I, I, I disputed them. I was like, I ain't paying for that. Now, you, you, mm-mm. I ain't paying B, BBNT. Now, they, 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 they was on some bullshit with that one. I ain't owe BBNT. But Bank of America, Wells Fargo was the two main ones. Then I owe First Premier Bank, and then I owe the Capital One. And and it was all like a total of like twelve hundred dollars total, not each, but total. So I did not have the largest debt, but that debt still packed the in uh, punch. I mean, it packed the punch, especially since I ain't have no um uh, nothing else balancing out. So it made a major impact in a negative way on my credit. Then my student loans. And why is my notifications wanting to pop up all of a sudden? Get gone. But anyways. Yeah, that was my major thing. I had to pay off those credit cards. Uh, medical bills was another thing. Y'all know, once again, with the, with the situation that happened to me last year, uh, with the seizure, it, it, it ranked up some medical bills, honey. Had to get that down. And, but still, my credit score was very low. And I said, I need to get back to getting a credit card. So, when, you know, the situation with the COVID happened, Okay, Lord G, why am I on a delay? I hate when this webcam does a delay. I need to clean out some memory, and I don't have time. Another reason why I'd be glad when I'm off, I'm finally done with this job at the schoolhouse. I'll be able to finally clean out this computer memory, so I'll stop being on a delay when I look at the play, when I'm looking at myself. But anyways, I said I need to find me a good credit card, and when the COVID situation happened, and I was blessed to have so many, you know, months of back pay, and then immediately I found the job doing translation. So I said, okay, I got this $5,000 with the unemployment. And then, uh, I got this job now paying me $15.50 an hour for translations. So I said, okay, let me go ahead and get, uh, get one good credit card and put a thousand dollars on it. Now, some of y'all was recommending several small cards, but see, here's the thing. Um, doing several small cards, it makes it look like you're fishing for credit and you are fishing for credit, but you don't want it to appear that way. So it's like, it's better to do like one large card versus several small ones, because it's like, let's say if I would have got five, $200 cards, that's five inquiries on my report all within a 30 day period. You do get penalized for that. Um, for now, even if you do it the same day and all the other ones don't know that you apply for another car is like it still impacts your credit report negatively down the road so it was like i wasn't trying to have that it's like i'm trying to get my credit report up and steady not down and it's like 
for five cards that's going to equal the same amount that I can get with one. Mm -mm. Now, granted, having a total amount of accounts also does good. Like, I have a lower manager accounts. I only have eight accounts open. Uh, it's, it's recommended that you have 11 plus. But once again, that only affects your credit score minimally. You know, on the medium scale. It's not high up like credit card, mortgage, automobile, you know, late payments. Those are the ones that affect you the most. So, um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't trying to open up no multiple cards at once. So what I did was I got this open sky card. There we go right there. And I loaded it for a thousand dollars. I, I gave them a thousand dollars and they gave me a thousand dollar credit limit. Um, minus the activation fee of $35, which I had to pay. So my original credit was 965. Now it's back up to a full thousand and I've been using it every month. Um, to pay off my phone bill and stuff like that to keep it going. And then I pay, I try my best to pay everything off. Don't carry over balance because, you know, it does carry a healthy, I think, 29% annual fee. And I think it carries a high interest rate as well. So I try my best not to carry over any balance. I think oh, the only time I carried over a balance was this recent, um, uh, the very first month. I carried over a hundred dollars and then this, the second month I carried over $50 only because I paid off the credit balance, but I forgot that I switched my, uh, my phone bill for my regular card to this card. So by the time I paid off everything off the credit card, uh, right on the 13th, my cell phone hit and I forgot all about it. It was on my credit report. I mean, not on my credit report, but on my credit card with open sky right so by the time they reported to the credit bureau it showed a 55 dollar balance which is like five percent credit utilization so this you know now when they report now i know that you know my phone bill is set to be paid today and which i'm through straight talk y'all just in case y'all wondering i would know to go ahead and pay again tomorrow i already made a payment but i'm going to make another payment so when they report on the 20th, it will show a zero balance. And then by this time next month, I should do another jump because of the fact that I just got approved for a $2,000 card uh, with a company that is yet to be named. I'm going to say that for another video. Um, but I got approved for 2000 But what got me from 480 to 630 was opening up that one Open Sky account for a thousand dollars and being consistent with the payments within my first three this is now going on my third month and i'm already getting these types of credit card offers so this is a good way to build up your credit y'all y'all is to start off with a good good secure card and don't be afraid to put a high dollar balance on it because the high dollar balance is actually what's going to get you the high dollar offers because once again, I didn't think I, I thought I was going to be approved for just like three, five hundred dollars. Or, you know, since I have a thousand dollar secure card, you know, they're going to approve me for a thousand dollars. I mean, a, a unsecure, right? But they trust me now to the point where, you know, I got offers for two thousand dollars and I got approved. And then there's another one where it said, although I don't, I don't want to go with surge. I got a, I got an offer for seven hundred and fifty dollars with surge. Some, some is just best to pass up. Yeah, that surge, I ain't looking to do that one. Now, first Premier Bank hit me up again. I, I, I'll do first Premier Bank because I think they percentage was only like 12%, which is very good for an entry level secure card. I get that $300 one or $500 one for, uh, 12%. But yeah, this is the best way to, um, Build up your credit. Get you a high dollar secure card. Get you a thousand dollars on it. And you're allowed to start to get those offers for two thousand dollars like I did. And that's where it is. And for my proof, let me go ahead and show y'all a couple before and afters right here. So I'm going to show you Credit Karma where I was at on the June. And then I'm going to show you July. And then I'm going to input one that I did this actually today so here they go right here okay y'all it is uh june 18 2020 
and I am on my credit karma dot com and this is the scores that it got for me as of June seventeenth, y'all. So yeah. We're looking for this to jump up a hundred plus points within the next um twelve days or so. It has not reported my open sky account that I've actually already applied for and got approved for a thousand dollars. So it is not uh and of course, you know, it's a secured account, so I put up a thousand of it, so Let's get on into it. So as you can see from those uh, screenshot proofs, uh, video proofs, I wanted to do video because it, you, somebody could say, oh, well, you photoshopped the, this screen or whatever. How we know that's really yours and we couldn't see the email and all this, that, and third. So to debunk all that, I said, let me do video proof. That way they can see my AOL email. It's only one LaJuan, honey. So it's like, <laughs> y'all know it's me. So... Y'all see everything in detail. So y'all seen that my credit score went from 480 to 590 on one of them. And then I had to dispute something. What, what did I end up disputing? See, I, I've been doing so much. My, I, I got brain fog, but I end up having to dispute something. And then my credit score immediately jumped up to the 600s. If y'all remember what I end up disputing, I I, I do remember I, I I said something about I dis, I had to dispute something. I can't think of what what it was right now, but I end up having to dispute something on my credit report, and that's a good thing as well. If you if you see some outdated, misguided information on your credit report, dispute it. Um, uh, and it and they have thirty days. I, I I remember I put in a investigation with both Experian and TransUnion, and within 30 days, they found my, in oh, the, uh, the, um, uh, the past credit card, that's what it was. With one of the credit cards that I paid off, it still showed that I owed a balance of, like, 300 some dollars, and I was like, no, I done paid this off in full. It's like, it needs to reflect as such on my credit report. So, make sure that when they give you those letters, those certified letters from the, um, uh, past credit cards that you owe, 
make sure you keep them because for incidents like this where it did not update on the credit report, that, that goes a long way when it comes to them getting it removed. You do not need to pay no legal shield. You do not need to pay no credit repair specialist to do this. Like, this is stuff that y'all can do for free. I see so many people talking about legal, legal Zoom and legal shield and all this paying 90 some dollars. And it's really stuff simply that I'm giving to y'all for free 99 that you can do. Yeah, matter of fact, you can dispute <laughs> directly through the Experian website. TransUnion, you could dispute it right on creditkarma.com. You don't need to pay nobody no $90 a month to take something off your credit report that you can take off yourself. You can do all that yourself. It's very self-exploratory. You don't need, and, and don't think because I got a background in business that it's complicated. No. You, anybody graduated just from high school, you can do this, Sunday. So don't, don't be paying no legal Zoom and all of them no 90, 100, 250, $300 to get some stuff taken off that don't that you can realistically take off yourself. So yeah, I, I did that and my credit score jumped up another, you know, 20 some points, as y'all can tell. So those are my tidbits right there on getting your credit score together. This is part one. Um, part two is, is when I'm going to come back and show y'all the credit card. If I, <laughs> if it's really $2,000, cause I'm still in a state of disbelief on it, $2,000. Even though it gave me the confirmation and said you was approved for the maximum amount. I'm going to come back with that update. And then give me a month from now. I'm going to come back again. And then we're going to see how the credit score fares from there. Because by that time, I would have made a payment on my car. Because I think CarMax gives me up to 45 days before they send me my first payment. Um, I put down my deposit. And it, none of that's on my credit report just yet. So I, I guess it's when I make my first payment where it's going to put on my credit report. So we want to see what my credit score looks like with the car, um, with the card note on there and with this new card with $2,000. Now, typically debt lowers your credit score, but here's another thing. When you have installment loans, that actually affects your credit in a positive way because I remember when I took out my student loans, Honey, my credit score jumped through the roof to, like, once again, I was at that 500 score for a moment. Then, I mean, my credit score jumped up 100 points. I was like, how the hell this is possible? I know I took on $20,000 in debt. My credit score jumped up from 550 to 650-something. I remember it did that. So, it's like, it's going to be interesting to see what uh my credit score does with taking on this, you know, $20,000 plus car payment. So... Which would be less than that if I pay it off earlier, which I am. So, cause y'all know I'm at that, uh, they charge me 14.95% interest rate because of where I'm at. Um, not necessarily 25%, but shoot, it's, it's not too far from there. But I, you know, I can always refinance down the road on that, especially during these times with COVID and all this. Honey, get, give me a couple months. I might and let my credit score jump up quick, uh, quick, uh, quick enough. Honey, I might come and do a video showing how I went from a 14.95% uh, um, interest rate to renegotiating down to maybe like 8%. You don't know. But anyways, I will keep y'all updated on that. I'm definitely going to come back with the, uh, credit card. It's going to ship out within 10 days from, yesterday so let me see 13 14 15 17 18 19 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. give it an extra I, i'm going to give it to the 26 so it should arrive around the 26 and that's also around the time i should finally hear back from ancestry on my mother's dna so y'all got a lot to come in y'all way uh, on my vlog channel. Y'all will finally get some sort of update, hopefully, on my mother's ancestry. And on the 26th here on this channel, y'all should be getting an update on the credit card that I'm going to reveal. And then a month from there, we're going to do a update on how it is when I make my first payment with the credit card. I'm going to charge something on it, pay it all, 
and see how that works. And then I might take on one more card and that's it. I, like I said, the goal is not to have too many card inquiries close together. Because once again, I'll, uh, maybe I might hold off because once again, I got to think about my business credit card as well. And more likely, I'm going to go ahead and get my business credit card second. So with $3,000 at the minimum, I'm guaranteed at least $3,000 in business credit. Which would be enough to get the ground rolling for me to pay my, you know pay for you know the salon suite because i already got my led therapy machine i got my body scope machine i got my waxes uh i i guess i could invest in a, a standing face steamer and all of that uh and then you know of course the extra ppp equipment and all of that um some more barber side all that good you know the regular stuff that comes with the salon and spa honey but yeah that's what I would be doing with that. And then I'll be taking y'all on that journey with me as well. Since it does overlap with beauty, uh, it will, some will be on the beauty channel and some will be on the business. It might be both videos on the channel since it overlaps. Sometimes I do that where the, you know, it overlaps with what I do on other channels. Y'all know typically the vlog channels be on the vlog channel, but sometimes I give y'all a little tidbit of what's going on in my life over here. And vice versa on the on the vlog channel, I give them a little tidbit of what I do over here on the business channel. But yeah, that is it, y'all. Look out for the card reveal around the 26th of the month. Um, and then from there, I'm going to give y'all an update on my credit report. Like I said, between that and then give me another month. Honey, I should finally be in the 700 Club. I can't wait to do my video. I, I, I mean, I, I can just see it now. Between this car note, between this car note, this $2,000 card, at the minimum, I got to be at, at least 670 And then if I, and when, not even if, but when I get this $3,000 business credit, but see now the business credit's separate though. I see I got to think that that's that's different from my personal credit. Um so after the business credit, after I get approved for the business credit, then I take out for another card on my personal credit. And then from there, I know for sure I should be in the seven hundreds club. So the goal is Diva Juan would be in the seven hundreds club by September 30th. We're going to give it till September 30th. So we got a month and a half to go. Like I said, we're going to give it a, enough time for me to make my first car payment on my, um, on my SUV, my Nissan Rogue. We're going to give it enough time for me to get this, um, new card and make a payment on that. And then it would be my fourth month paying on my open sky card. So, with all of those factored in, I should definitely be sitting at those upper 670s. And then by the time I take out one more card, even if it's just for three to 500, that should right there push me right at to the 700s club right there. So, and then from there, by the time December comes around, when I get to talking about me getting my house and stuff, I will be in a whole different position than when I was at early on trying to search for a house with a 480 credit score now whether i'm going to end up still renting or you know doing a rent to own or getting into a fha time will tell but that will be on my vlog channel so if you're not following me on the vlog channel definitely subscribe there um for my beauty videos and where i talk more about my aesthetics business especially now that it's now approved and revamped uh, I got approved for my new name of my aesthetics practice. That news will be over on the beauty channel. So subscribe over there for that news. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.